and an active mode and an active sometimes a mode and two actives mode and an active so we have no subdominants and we use subdominant as a key part of our traditional ballad it was we began with a subdominant we began with a tonic to a subdominant to float us up and get us into to get us to gear what do we do instead we will pick most likely an ambivalent so sirs and ladies gentlemen and madams let us recap we're preparing to make the third ballad variation here on our ballad and variations in uh, C and as part of doing that we're planning to pick a new set of chords to work with down here and replicate our cadences and what we have discovered or and in order to prep for that we did quite a bit of bookkeeping and making a point of having our reference sheets to hand including note function types chord function types cadence function types which all of which relate to our use of melody and then we also cleaned up our consonance model and reminded ourselves every trichord has three intervals that have to add up to 12 so any trichord which is an interval pair implies another a third pair and that's part of the energy that you hear in the chords so we also used our did a little cleanup formatting of our um, C, C diatonic we reminded ourselves that when we start going into full tonality which is where we're going the third var variation of the ballad is going to be using these chords we this is fixed this is where we're going and now we're in new territory we don't already know how to use these up here it was an easy traditional balance always use these three chords piece of cake and then we just picked you know three others tonic dominant subdominant oops problem down here we, there is no subdominant what do we do instead so that's where we'll start the next session sirs and madams wherever you are thank you for your attention keep on streaming